From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. And I'm Keith Farmer. And coming up tonight, we'll show you part two of my sit-down interview with John Calipari. That's right. Then Tom Leach will join us to give his take on Calipari's latest comments, plus postseason accolades that are rolling in for the spring sport athletes. But we'll start with part two of my conversation with Coach Cal, where he expands on why he wants upgraded facilities for his players and a better Big Blue Madness experience for the fans. That's tonight's Big Blue Story, presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. Madness. You got to be talking about madness for a month or we didn't do our job. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. And I'll say this the camp out. You got to have the camp out. Unacceptable. And now people say, well, what, what's so important? In basketball, one player can help you win a national title. It's not football. Football is the cavalry. Mm -hmm. One player. So everything you do has to be geared toward not losing that guy because, wow, theirs is so much better. And you could say, well, me as a recruiter, what are you going to say? I'm not a good recruiter? <laughs> no, okay, no. okay. You could say that. <laughs> nope. Those are those angry dudes. <laughs> well, he lost. He can't recruit. Ah, come on. I'm the same guy that's done it at UMass, Memphis. I had different staffs. I don't. Sure. So, so now it's like you don't want them to have any chance to say, well, this is way better there. No, our fans and anybody that sees Madness should be talking about it for a month. I still remember this. <laughs> Do you remember this? Guys uh -huh. coming out of the ceiling? Yep. We got to get back to that. The other thing I talk about are facilities, not because our practice facility is awful. It's good. But we just had a mother drop her son off, a freshman, and said, we came here because of basketball. We're really surprised that the facilities at other schools are nicer than here. That should never come out. This is a basketball place. Yeah. This is the gold standard. And I say, we're good, but do we really want to lose a kid? Are you going to say, I lost? yeah, okay, I, I'm not that good at doing what I do. You don't want anything out there. Yeah. And that's why I said Mitch and I are going to sit down and say, okay, what's our plan? Where do we move this? Do we put something in the middle of campus? How do we make our facilities? You can't have a kid come in because before you would visit Kentucky, what would you think? It's Kentucky basketball, the premier program in the country at a school that understands what basketball is. You would expect it to be Taj Mahal. Sure. And anything less than that, what are you? Like you're disappointed. And that's why I say, I'm not complaining. I, have I ever said anything in 13 years? Nothing. Now we're at that point. I see Georgia football spend 90 more yeah. million on a place that they just rebuilt or Alabama football. That's Kentucky basketball. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to sit down and say, how do we go forward with this? Where do we do it? What do we do? I'm not sure about housing. And I say that because our housing is the NCA screwed us up in the housing. They wouldn't let us do stuff that we had planned to do in our housing. So then when Kansas and other schools came in, they said, we're doing this, which they told us we couldn't do, and they let them do it. But here's the difference. Name, image, and likeness, if we have some older players and they have their own money, how do you tell a kid he can't live off campus? So I'm not sure where housing fits in on this. What is next and how are we first at it? I think we're, we're gonna be the gold standard in name, image, and likeness. Um, the way we've done this, what we've stayed away from, um, you know, uh, the state law, mm -hmm. we needed a state law. Yes. And that state law protects the players, protects the coaches and administrators, mm -hmm. gives us an opportunity. It's not about inducement, but it gives us a chance to assist. It protects players with arbitrators, with, I mean, this state law, they can say what they want. We didn't need a state law, really. And then anything that was done, the NCAA could come back and go after you. We have, you don't want to give us a plan. We have a good plan. And now it's, you know, the kids got to work. They got to do their thing. And, you know, it's been fun doing it. Are there specific facility things? Or is that Practice facility, the space of it. I'm telling you again, it's only because 
it's Kentucky basketball, and you expect it to be like that. And 12 years ago, it was. 13 years ago, it was. Yeah. But what's everybody done? All right, now we can't have 10 schools above what we have. You just can't do it. And, but we're, we're going to get it done. Like I said, what you don't want is losing a player who could help you win a national title because of any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. You want it to be about development of players, about opportunity to be on the biggest stage, to be on all national televised games. The results on that wall of NBA players not only getting in the league and being drafted, getting to second contracts. Do you know there's 36 max contracts in the NBA? That's it. You know, they talk about max. Our kids have 11. <laughs> they have 11. My point is, how does a kid not want to come here? Let's eliminate any of that stuff. And, and madness is part of it. You can say, well, it's not that big a deal. It could be with one player, and that one player could help you win a national title. And if you say, well, you know, you're, you, you should just go get guys, I have. We've got the number one player in here, number one class, and every once in a while we're in the number two class. But there's that run. I'll give you an example. The John Wall stuff mm -hmm. and that madness got us Anthony Davis. How we do? Now, you could say, well, we would have got him. Yeah, maybe not. He got excited about all that stuff. And our facilities at that time, woo. Now, what we've done in Rupp and what the city has done with Rupp, Unbelievable. We did the locker room ourselves. We did that. And that locker room is as, it's as good as, it's a gold standard locker room. Now we got to finish all the other stuff around it. You know, again, he's not talking, he's that we have mm -hmm. nice stuff, yeah. right? But, you know, just for example, when we were looking to set up a place to interview Coach Cal, yeah. we couldn't go on their court because volleyball was using it for yeah. camp, which, great. Another national shared championship space program. And a national, they need that. They, yep. It's going to help them bring some kids mm -hmm. in. At the same time, how can they figure it out, exactly. you know? Exactly. Because basketball is just coming on campus, and right now, they, right. They, at that time, they couldn't go out and shoot on their They're own courts. They're having to share. <laughs> so the man has a point. We'll hear him out on that. <laughs> yes. And if you missed part one last week, that's available on our website, bbntonight.com. And still ahead tonight, the voice of the Wildcats is with us. Yeah, Tom Leach weighs in on Coach Cal's comments. Plus, what could a sophomore season Damian Collins mean for the Cats? Stay with us. You're watching BBN Tonight.